Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're in the workshop with Raz RC and we're going to do a little bit of a part review uh, of my next 124 scale builds. And I got a bunch of parts. This uh, build is somewhat sponsored by uh, RC All Wheel Drive. They were graciously kind enough to send me some parts for me to try out. And uh, we've got them in here. We've got some Endura parts. And I've got a FureTech system that we're going to go through. And we'll go through what I got and kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing with these builds. Uh, I've got two builds probably out of this. But uh, one will be based off the C10 because we have the Endura uh, Rock Buggies uh, kits. So I got two of these kits um sitting around i've had these for a while they've been sitting around waiting for a build and i was lucky enough to get a email from rc all wheel drive who uh, is a sponsor of the channel uh every so often they'll send me some parts and they asked if i needed something and of course i said well i have this build planned and i would like to get some of the parts that you have so they did send me stuff we'll go through that so i've got two of the the rock racer bu uh, buggy kits i got a red and a green um we're gonna do the c10 uh it, it's sitting around it's it's pretty much 100 percent stock besides a some brass uh, diff covers i haven't done nothing with this rig since i bought it. it it was just sitting around i used it mainly in my scale garage that i'm unable to set up in my current uh new house that i've been into for a year now i just don't have the space for it uh with the crawler course and everything that i built <clears throat> I just don't have any more space to put up that uh, 110 scale 3D printed um, scale garage that I have. So this thing's been sitting around. Um, time for it to, to get changed out. Uh, I don't do nothing with this sucker, so I, I barely even use it. It's uh, October 28th, I believe. So winter has hit us. we got snow on the ground here where I'm at. So it's now time to get back into the 24 scale. So we're going to do a build, one of them up in that, and with some RC all-wheel drive parts, and we'll go through those. So I've got two of the two of the Rock Racer, like I said, the kits. So we're going to be doing a couple of these. Um, we've got, this is a Ramp Crab uh, rear truss link, adjustable rear truss link. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm using the DJI Pocket here stationary so it'll do better focusing than the gopro so hopefully you guys can see that i got this off of amazon uh only color they had was purple so it's a two-piece you get the hardware kit a little decal sheet there but it is your rear uh truss link and it's adjustable so we'll see how that works first time i've ever used that we got that as i go through stuff we'll get it out of the way uh, we've got the Endura um, steering link. Uh, it's it's actually says Bronco black, uh, but it's the round ones. So we've got a set of those, and we've got a set of C10. I think these are the bronze uh, links. So we're gonna try those ones out. The round ones. I usually go with the. These are high lift also. Uh, there's the part number. Hopefully you guys can see that. So yeah, we got a set of those. And we bought the Endura, I can't remember exactly uh, what tires these ones were, but they're one of their newer ones. They got rock crawler tire on the, marked on it. They're uh, 58 by the 24s. Uh, they're brand new, so I thought I'd give them a try. I do have a whack of other tires to use. I really like these ones, but I've got a special set of rims to go on these or i got pin tires i've got swampers i've got a whack of different tires i can use but i thought i'd give these a try uh, they are a little larger so these these i got off amazon uh, and and almost every endura part i get is off amazon uh pretty much all of it there is nowhere really around here to get endura except for amazon in my country uh anyways so i got those and for one of them I, I've had this sitting around for a while. This is the uh, the Fury Tech Stinger brushless system. So it's the combo with the Lizard Pro and the uh, transmission case or mount, I guess it would be. This does not have the transmission case, but the mount uh, for the SX24. So 
I think I'm going to use that. And I've also got another receiver for the Avatar radio. Uh, I really like that radio. I've only got it in one truck so far, which is the Scythe build. But uh, we're going to do that again, hopefully, in one of these two rigs. Uh, probably, probably the one that is not uh, RC all-wheel drive based. I'm not 100% sure yet because I do believe they sent me a motor tranny uh, combo. And we'll have a look at those here in a second. So, yeah, I've got that sitting around. It's been sitting around for almost a year. Figured uh, I better start getting this stuff used up and, and order some more uh, of the newer stuff because this has been around a while now. And I've had it sitting for a while. I was going to put it into my Gladiator, but uh, I didn't get around to it. So maybe we'll do it in this one. So anyways, so and again, this is this is a uh, partially uh, sponsored build. Besides the Endure parts and, and the Fear Tech parts and stuff. I did get a bunch of stuff from RC All Wheel Drive. So we will pull all that out and we will see what we got. I did open it up just to make sure that's what it was when it came in. And I kind of had a quick look. So, all right, there's a bit of parts there. So, first one, we've got a shed set, excuse me, of shocks. Um, they are, I'm not sure the length of these. They they are not very good at marking what they have on their, on their packages. They just give a part number. I guess I could have gone to their webpage and pulled that part number. But we got a set. They look like maybe, well, let's see. I got my caliper handy here, 40s maybe, 48s, 44s, uh, they're not very long, uh, they're not barrel, so, and they're oil filled I believe, so they're uh, 55 maybe, 54, 55 millimeter shock, so a full set in red, so that's really nice, some extra uh, uh, springs there for different uh, weights, spring weights. Uh, they, they look pretty interesting they look pretty smooth so we got a full set of RC all-wheel drive shocks and they did send me a set of links and I believe these are the deadbolt links yes they are because they are 69 and 41 mil so I believe these are the deadbolt links so and they're high lift links so we'll probably use one of those these in one of the builds not sure which one yet. Like I said, I've got some weird parts to figure out how I'm going to do these two builds. What I'm going to steal off the C10 and what I'm going to use from RC All-Wheel Drive. And I do have a few other parts on the wall still from RC All-Wheel Drive that I'm going to probably use. Um, here we've got CVDs. So front, I believe, just front CVD joints. So hopefully you guys can see those. So those are the front. I don't think these are the plus fours is what they have. Again, guys, I apologize. I should have went online and, and looked at what all these damn parts are because I forgot that they don't really mark what they are on their pouches. But you get sticker sheets in there. They, they got nice packaging, but they just don't mark them. And you got bushings there. I don't think these are the pluses. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think they are. I think they're just the replacements. I have a set in the in one of my drawers I could stock set I could probably measure them out but anyways so we got a set of those um, we got a drive shaft and I believe this is the deadbolt drive shaft again they don't freaking mark it so I don't know what I've got here um, but it is a nice looking drive shaft so I'm not sure if you guys can see that down in there come on focus in there we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Nice little drive shaft in there. Probably deadbolt, I would think. And a really uh, nice addition that I was surprised I got was a set of straight axles uh, and full uh, set axles. So everything's inside the axle. And you've got brass weight diff uh, covers on there for some weight. Front and rear set. Uh, and they're just a straight axle. I do have a set of their portals on one of my builds. I'm not a big fan of the portal height, but uh, they are nice. They're amazing friggin' uh, axles. But yeah, so we got a really nice set to go on, aluminum. Uh, all set, ready to go. Except for, of course, that truss that we're going to put on the rear. Got a set of those. 
And we got a nice set of bead locks. And I believe these are their brass bead locks. If not, we will get a weight on these uh, when I get my weight scale set up. But yeah, a really nice set of bead locks there. Hopefully you guys can see them. Nice set of red bead locks, black ring. They're pretty heavy. Uh, they're not as heavy. I don't. They might not be brass. They feel like they are, though. They're pretty heavy. I got a set of these. Oh yeah, they're not even close to these ones. So they 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 could be brass, but they're not as heavy as these, which are amazingly heavy. These are a set of brass uh, bead lock one one .0s from uh, Details. Details is kind of big in my area. My local hobby shop gets these in from their distributor. Uh, um, these are pretty pretty nice. They're really heavy. Uh, I, I'll get a weight for you. They're they're pretty darn heavy, <laughs> like really heavy. I was surprised to find them there, and I grabbed them the other day. So yeah, these ones don't feel as heavy, but I think they are brass. And we got, like I said, we got a motor. This is the 32 turn brushed uh, 180 with the mount and the transmission. So hard for you guys to see that in there, but let's open that one up because this one I've been looking at. I, don't know, I really wanted to get this video done, but I just haven't had any time. So these have been sitting for quite some time uh, on my bench waiting for this video. And today is the day. Winter is hot, hit the snow is on the ground. I really don't know why they gave me that. I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, servo extension. And th this one comes with the, it's kind of nice actually, this one's got shock mounts, so I could put those on like the, because we're doing the rock racer, I could use these on, on maybe the, the gladiator, and it's got uh, side rails to relocate uh, your electronics, that's what those side rails are for, so that's kind of nice that that came with, with those all in one set, you've got the nice side rails marked there with the RC all wheel drive and you've got a set of front and rear uh, shock relocation aluminum mounts. So that's kind of cool. I'll be able to use those somewhere definitely because uh, what I plan for this one I, I I don't know how that motor is but I think we'll give it a go in one of these uh, rock racers because they have uh, graciously sent these to me to try out. So I think we will use this whole setup. And that's a pretty nice looking uh, transmission and mount there. Uh, aluminum. I think that's aluminum. No, that would be plastic or carbon fiber of some sort for the backing plate there. Covering the, the big spur gear in there, the big gear. Uh, but pretty darn nice. Again, this is RC all-wheel drives, uh, 32 turn, 100, 180, brushed motor. That's a big motor, though. Hopefully, we got room in that uh, build for that sucker. And on the shelf, sorry, I should have pulled it down. I got a lot of parts on the wall there, guys. So, a lot of our RC all-wheel drive parts. Well, not a lot, but a few. We've got the skid plate in red. So we got the full mount, the motor mount plate and skid plate. We'll use that on the one build with all the RC all wheel drive stuff. So that'll be good. So I already had that in stock and I do have the plus four uh, uh, CVDs and, and uh, rear uh, axle shafts. So I could use those if I wanted to. And I have up there for LC, RC all wheel drive. I've got uh, wheel weights and I've got steering knuckles, but these already come with aluminum. They're black. I have the brass ones. So we might change them out to the brass ones. These are just black aluminum. So we'll see if they're, they're uh, just to give us some more weight, but I, I don't think I'm gonna need much weight with these wheels. But I do have the, the, the brass uh, 24 scale uh, steering knuckles so we could probably use those too so I got a lot of RC all-wheel drive parts sitting in front of us and again that's that's where we're gonna start the next build uh, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how that sucker works so anyways I just wanted to go through everything I had 
uh, let you know what's going on in with the channel and I'm still here it's just uh, snow has hit so I can't really get out crawling too much anymore it's been like minus 18 uh, for the last few days so it's kind of cold for just being October but uh, the plan is to, to do some 24 scaling and get the builds done. Uh, um, I do have a 10 scale build that, that I'm going to be planning on starting here shortly too in the mix of all this stuff. Uh, so I'll do an intro video for that. Uh, I do have a couple more run videos that I want to get up uh, with some, some of the new, new camera equipment that I bought. Uh, just going over some of that and I'm going to do that video too that I keep promising in my other videos to do how I film my my uh outings with my 110 scales and my 124 scales so we'll do that here hopefully soon so i'm, I'm still here I'm, I'm around i'm gonna get some videos done as quick as i can but i uh, just thought we'd do a quick 15 20 minute video on all this stuff and what the plan build is so like i've got a lot of i got a table full of parts and a c10 that i can tear apart if need be um for the electronics for one of them for sure uh, one of them for sure will get the Fury Tech system um, set up with the Avatar, and, and I think that'll be a pretty good rig. I've heard good things about them. I, I know these have been around a long time, guys, and you've seen a ton of them, but this is the first ones I've gotten. I just wanted to do something this winter different than uh, the, the builds I've got now and, and just running the regular stuff that I have. I wanted to do something new in the 24 scale. And when RCL Will Drive sent me an email and said, hey, what's going on? You need some stuff. And I jumped all over that. So anyways, that's what we're going to do. Hopefully uh, we'll get some of this stuff going and maybe I'll do a build video or uh, show you where I'm at halfway through the build or something. But we'll, we'll uh, keep you updated on these builds and hopefully soon I'll get the the 110 scale intro build that I'm doing that's been sitting in, in the shop for over a year also, still in the box. Uh, it's a kit build, ready to, ready to uh, start building that. So anyways, just wanted to pop in, say here we go, back to the 24 scale. Hopefully you guys are doing all well and winter's not been too hard on you yet. It it hit us hard already here in southern Alberta. But uh, thanks for everyone for coming and watching and subscribing and make sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys think of all these lovely parts and, and where they should go and what I should do with maybe some of them. How I should put all this together. Or just leave me a comment what you think of the, the video and and uh, I'll get back to you and I'm, I try to answer every comment that's out there. And uh, we'll see you at the next one and everybody stay safe.